Hi guys, Mikey from Mikey Reviews, and in this video I'm going to be showing you the Glass Cube 2 Biothinal Burner from Biofires. This particular model makes a great centerpiece for a tabletop and creates a really nice ambience to your room. This burner retails for £65, however I was lucky enough to get it whilst it was on for £35, but to be honest, after trying it out for myself, I think even for £65, it's a really decent price. Also, the postage was completely free within the UK, and from the date of ordering, I received the product around 5 working days later. For those who don't know much about bioethanol, it's a much cleaner way of burning, it produces no smoke and practically no odour, the flames are also wonderfully bright and there is no residue to clean afterwards. With this purchase I received a free 1 litre bottle of bioethanol which is enough to refill the burner up to 8 times. As for the box contents, first to come out is the instruction and safety manual and as this product involves fire, it's very important to read it all. Next are 4 glass panels which come in 2 different sizes. Then we have the main base of the product, which already has a fuel container slotted in, as well as a fire extinguisher underneath. And finally, we have some lovely little white pebbles to add as a feature around the fire. Setting everything up is extremely simple. First of all, insert three out of the four glass panels into the appropriate slots. This gives you enough space to easily place the pebbles around the fuel container. When it comes to adding fuel to the container, make sure you take it out as it makes it much more easier to fill up without the fuel going everywhere. For safety reasons, don't overfill the container, it's advised to fill it up around 90% of its capacity, which is approximately 125 milliliters. Then reinsert the container into the base, carefully light the fuel from the side, and then finally insert the other glass panel into the last slot. From here you can just sit back, relax and enjoy as the burner adds a lovely glow to the room, and with it filled with 125 milliliters of biothanol, the flame should last for around 45 minutes. If you need to extinguish the flame before it runs out of fuel, just place the extinguisher over the container to put it out, then let the burner and glass panels cool down for a while before handling it again. Personally, I really love this burner, it was worth every single penny and some, which is why I'm rating this product highly with a full 10 stars. There are many other burners available which range in various sizes and styles, with different price tags of course, so if you do like the look of this product alone, do check out the website, I guarantee you'll love the others that are available. And that's it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one.